Okay, so Zoo, I understand that you have a very particular way of doing things, but, um, I don't do that slave stuff, so I'm gonna need you to kind of open your palm a little bit more, you feel me, my brother? Okay, anyway, most practice people, not here, and welcome back to the Jade Empire in the last one. We met Kang the Mad, ventured deeper into, uh, the, into the Pirate Fortress, and ended up dealing, well, dealing, ended up meeting, uh, well, finding the... Marvelous Dragonfly. This time around, we're going to continue deeper into the forest and hopefully find a way to bust open the door. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Dragonfly controls? Didn't really think that through before you started messing with those controls, did you? Those weapons could have killed us. Instead... You've blown open that massive door. Only you could be that lucky. Okay, never mind. We found a way to open the door immediately. And there's still smoke chills there. Hmm. Sorry about the missiles. Well, I guess since we're here, might as well go ahead and find a way to get through here. See, door. Good. They control demons too. They have amassed a great deal of power. Okay, well, here's this treasure room, a lot of boxes that we can't open, and there's an elephant standing right there with two trunks and tusks. YOLO! This area is forbidden. Only Gao himself is allowed to enter. You must be destroyed! I have no quarrel with you. Nor I you. But the power of Gao's magic compels me. He summoned me to this place and bound me to guard this chamber. The penalty for all who enter is death. I, Shanxi, the great elephant demon, must crush you. Well, okay then, Shanxi. I, um... I'm just going to deal with you then. Um... As you saw right there, Shang-Chi just used Stone Immortal's, um, uh, area of effect move, so there you go. But because we're a beast, uh, Shang-Chi was, well, not much of a fight. Thank goodness he covered his, he covered his monster. Now, let's open up this, uh, this booby trap, shall we? Oh, so that one I can evade. Okay. Anything else in here? Anything else? There's a bonsai tree for no apparent reason. Um... Couple more of these, a couple more. Okay, let's open up this chest here. Inferior intimidation gem. Okay. Uh open up this this uh this chest right here. Flawed scholar gem and gem with a frail scholar. Okay. Well that's a lot of money. Let's go ahead and kick this open. Five hundred and fifty silver. Um the focus run. Let's go ahead and refill our focus real fast. Open up this cabinet here. Flawed warrior gem. So basically, we just got a lot of silver and a lot of things we can sell. But what, but what about this special gem that we got? Um, the gem of the frail scholar. Mine plus one, a hundred plus a hundred percent experience from books, but minus three to body. This gem has passed through the hands of many great scholars and men and women of learning. Their dedication experienced has their their dedication and experience has been passed on into this essence gem. The gem expands its wielder's mind, drawing on the scholar's past experiences. But the wielder will feel the weight of years much more greatly. So basically, if you're reading books, put this gem on and get more experience from it. That's literally all it's saying. Otherwise, there's just no point in having it. I don't need intimidation intimidation jewel. Um, I don't, uh, 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 in case, in case you're wondering, I, I am keeping our, um, our, uh, unique gems that we can get. Um, if I can't, if I can't get one, then I won't worry about it, but I am keeping the unique gems that we find along the way. Any other gems, I'm just going to up and sell. That's just how I'm going to do. That's just, that's how I've always played Jade Empire. Um, uh, because the unique gems offer much, offer very, uh, offer, um, I want to say very offer um, significant boosts and um, useful abilities that will help you maximize your experience, playtime, and battles. 
um, as well as max as well as make your uh, bills more efficient. But some of them have restrictions. But otherwise, I just like to keep them around because you know they're unique. Before we head in there, I want to take a walk around the perimeter real fast. Oh, look, a bonsai tree. Kick. Intuition gem and 29 silver. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's right. That's right, gal. I busted your bonsai tree. How's it make you feel? Go away, Lim. My son is dead. Leave me to my grief, or I will see that you join him. Listen to me, Gao. Your son may not be lost forever. The Lotus Assassins have power, even over the dead. I know all about the necromancy of the Lotus Assassins. Take your false hope and go, or I'll... Wait. You dare disturb me in my grief? I said no interruptions. You will pay for... Wait. You are not one of my servants. I know you. You are one of Master Lee's students. You, you are the one who killed my cow. I didn't want to kill him. He left no choice. Gal brought his fate on himself. I enjoyed killing your son. I'm not going to kill you. Uh, Gal brought his fate on himself. Your words mean nothing. You are a murderer, a killer. Gal was everything to me, and now he's gone. Damn you in that school. My Gao was never good enough for Master Li. You were always his prize pupil. And now my son is... Enough, Gao! This troublemaker has disrupted our plans from the beginning. It had to be them in the ruins, and someone aided the troublesome Lord Yun in the forest. It is time to end your meddling. I don't know your face, or if it might be worth anything to my masters. But you travel with the accursed Zhu. And his death may at least settle some old scores. Hmm. I had no choice. Your people will take my master. Your death will be a message to death hand of my coming. I don't care who you are. You're in my way. What do you know of Sagacious Zoo? Sagacious? Is that what you call yourself now? Hardly a worthy representation of the blood you've spilled. You do not know me, assassin. Perhaps, but I know what you were. Not that it matters anymore. Enough talk! I will delay your death no longer. May your fall sate the anger of Death's Hand, will of the Emperor. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and deal with this, and I'm just gonna say this right now. Gal the Greater, you're calling me a murderer and whatnot, and yet you're kidnapping people and selling them into slavery. Murdering people left, right, and center, and then your then your son was no better. So I'm just look. As far as I'm concerned, I did the word of service. Your precious boy was um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, your wife sort of swallowed. That's what I'm saying right now. That that's all I'm saying. Or whoever birthed him. Now remember, because he's Gal the Greater, he has pretty much all the exact same moves. Uh, as Gal the Lesser, he's just stronger, and he is more willing to use a lot of his more um, uh, powerful techniques and, and, and uh, more free, more freely. And with that, we have the amulet. We can now equip five gems. Instead of three. So what gem? Oh, we got the superior monk gem. This is one of the best gems you can get of the monk class. Because you're spirit by plus six. Um, let's see here. This increases our mind and minds to the body. Well, I haven't really had need of that for right now. So we're going to equip this. And uh, gem of good fortune. The Bronx tongue. Uh... And I think we'll do... I think we'll do... I think we'll do this flick gem for right now. Uh, as it stands, uh, I, li I like to kind of build up my passive skills with the gems rather than my active skills because there's no real need to use it. Anyway. Dead already. Damn it all. I wanted nothing more than to watch this man die. 
Um, if you didn't take me your time, you might have saved me the trouble. Um, he's dead. Why does it matter who killed him? It matters because he deserved to die by my hands. No, that's not right. I should be thanking you. Besides, after I left you, I stumbled across something just as important. Let me explain why I'm here. That should clarify things. You saw with your own eyes that these pirates were collecting slaves, right? I also saw you free some of them. True enough. I have a particular hatred for slavers. Gao's slaving operation found its way to my home several years ago. I was away at the time, but my daughter was there. Those black-hearted bastards took my daughter, Pin Mei. They killed her for resisting them. She was my only child. I lost her mother when Pin Mei was born, but my daughter was something precious in return. The slavers offered no such consolation. Maybe you should take some time to mourn your daughter. It has been three years since I lost my daughter, and I have spent that time tracking down the men who took her. My search led me here, to the lair of Gao the Greater. His men took my daughter, and I meant to even the score. On my way up here, I stumbled across records that show that this goes beyond Gao. The Lotus Assassins are his primary buyers. I've seen similar evidence. Is that so? There can be no doubt, then. This goes beyond Gao the Greater. I have my vengeance, but how many others have suffered as I have because of the Lotus Assassins? Do you mean to go further with this? I would join you. Only a fool would oppose the Lotus Assassins, but two fools working together stand a better chance than one. We got a fool, fool! <laughs> anyway, um, it would be good to have you along. It'll be an honor to join you. Oh, and I stumbled across a little something on my way up here. It's probably something you need. What is it? Hey, that's the dust inductor I was hiding. The dragonfly can't fly without it. It was under the floorboards in my workshop last I looked. Well, next time I hide something, I'm packing explosives around it. Yes, explosives shaped like silver bananas. Stops thieves, monkeys, and monkey thieves in one fell swoop. Yes. In my mind, you stand the best chance of facing down Gao's masters. We also have a far greater chance of succeeding together, rather than apart. He's full of himself, but he's talented enough to be useful. Besides, his solutions seem more practical than others our little group might offer. If you are planning to take on the servants of Death's Hand, you'll need all the help you can get. Okay, glad to have you aboard, Sky. I assure you, I will be as devoted and capable as any of your other companions. Ha! If I could harness all that hot air, I could make a furnace to power the whole of the Imperial City. Well, if you're done with all the talking, I have to go make the dragonfly ready for some flying. All right, well, we got to level up, and now let's go looting. And with that, we have Sky as one of our party members. Zither case. He's also the character, um, if you're male, he is the male love interest. I think I brought this up in a previous, in a previous video, but Bioware has been doing um, same-sex uh, relationships, or same-sex uh, lo uh, love paths uh, since... Knights of the Republic that I know of might be even further back than that. Anyway, book stand. The history of flight volume three. Several years after Mad Fong's first successful flight, a scholar from the South discovered the unusual device known simply as the inscrutable power source. A few years later, scholar Xu Wen came up with a design for a flyer that used this mysterious new device. Initial attempts bordered on apocalyptic. In one case, destroying half of a mountainside in the village that lay below. Several scholars tried to outlaw the use of this strange new energy source, but Shu Wen co continued his experiments until at last he was successful. 
Wouldn't have any more mountains and people he destroyed along the way. Unfortunately, his prototype was too successful. Here we go. Both he and the flyer took off at great speeds toward the north, and neither was ever seen again. Oh. He didn't add a break. Somehow that's even more tragic. Strength of wood. Book set complete. That gives us a new technique. Um, strength of wood. L health plus two. Literary granted by your studies of the history of flight. An ancient technique that strengthens a warrior's body until his skin becomes as tough as wood. While the skin looks unchanged, it is tougher and more resilient than normal. If you say so. Level up. So we're going to... Let's boost this up a little bit. Get that up there. 500 points. 12 style points. Okay, now then we're going to max out the damage on our legendary strike. Save that. And anything else we can do here? Not the moment. What do we do with this? Not the moment. Um, we could probably up a couple of things around here, but let's hold off for right now. Um, we're going to map that here, map style. Yes, we're going to do that right there. And that'll be fine right there. So yeah, with that being said, we've pretty much done everything we can at the pirate camp. Let's, uh, let's head on back home, collect our, collect our reward and see what our, see what our, our party members have to say. Cause man, oh man, I'm sure they have a lot to say. You've done well so far. You seem to have everything you need to get that dragonfly up into the skies again. But this quest is far from over. Let's go back to the camp at Tian's Landing. The Dragonfly can take us to the Imperial City. That's where the Lotus Assassin must have taken your master. All right then. Uh, so, um, well, well, we'll get to that in a second here. Okay, Kang, I have your BS. Hey, ha -ha! much kicking and such. It really gets the blood flowing and explosions. Lots of blood flowing from those two. I replaced the dust inductor. The marvelous dragonfly will cross the sky at your whim for a short way. The heavens welcome my machines, but not without considerable cajoling. If you want to fly more than a short distance, I will need an inscrutable power source. I have an inscrutable power source. Ha <laughs> ha! What wonders cling to you, my friend. There were only two in this whole region, and I destroyed one so Inquisitor Lim would not make off with my marvelous dragonfly. The other was with the Lotus Assassins, but the fools only used it for demolition. Now, here you stand with it. I will put it in the dragonfly, and it will be ready to go. Hmm, not the ideal placement. If it shook more, the heavens might think we were afraid and take pity. This is more stable, but not as fun. Okay, she's ready to go. Hop on. I know a nice safe landing place just outside Tien's landing. Very unlikely we'll crash. Uh, what about Rue? He's waiting to take me back. Don't worry about that. When the marvelous dragonfly takes off, the earth shakes and the sky trembles. You can't miss it. Your friend will see us take off, and he'll head back to town on his own. Okay, let's get out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! Everybody on board! The marvelous dragonfly is about to take flight! You lost this beautiful power force, but you gained Shrieking Fury. Basically, we got a missile barrage. Go ahead and attack. Show us off. So while we're here, if you press uh, L and R, you can swap between Shriek and Fury and this. So we press X to select an upgrade. It's a pretty neat ability. It basically is a, is a homing rocket that um, that pretty much stays aloft um, as long as you uh, as long as it's on the screen, as long as your enemies that attack, and it just homes in, uh, killing enemies, builds up your chi bar, you know that kind of stuff. 
Um, so it's pretty much, it's pretty much like like a like a get out of, out of free. Uh, well, pretty much just a destroy all enemies instantly kind of move. Um, so if you like having problems with certain, with certain enemies, you can always just use this to help you out. Um, but anyway, I want to bring up something something here. So you may have noticed that there's been that there's some dialogue that um, that uh, hints that. You know, if you had done certain things in certain orders, you would not have gotten certain, um, um, what's the word? Certain, certain, uh, dialogue, uh, moments, interaction between characters. If you had brought, if you hadn't brought, uh, uh Zoo, he would not have wanted to limp. If you hadn't taken care of the dam or the forest, Lim would not have commented on it. Um, based on getting that is that, if you wanted to, you could have gone straight. You could have gone straight to the uh, pirate fortress, got your amulet, and had five gems to use. However, you would have been pretty much stuck in Tina's Landing until you found the inscrutable power source in the uh, in the dam. You could, if I, if I remember search correctly, you can completely skip the southern forest. I don't think there's anything there you actually need to fly away from Tina's Landing. It's just a nice little side benefit, like, which pretty much means you can go, if my memory serves correctly, you, I think you can go the entire game and not get Black Whirlwind. There are, um, one thing Bioware is pretty good at when it comes to a lot of their games is that you can play a good chunk of their games. flyer seems nicer than the one we took from Gal the Lesser. Although, I'm really only judging by how shiny it is. A poor guess, I'm sure. No, no. The marvelous dragonfly is superior to the amber mosquitoes I foisted on Gal. And actually, the shinier the better. The heavens like their glory reflected. A shame I can't leave it on the ground for all to see, but I'm not going through all this just to have it stripped to the frame by local brats. I'll call it back if we need it. How do you control it from this distance? Well, it's much like the dilemma of the centipede. If he relaxes and lets things happen, he can walk naturally all day long, his hundred legs not missing a step. But if he thinks too hard about the complexity of what he's doing, those legs might crash into the tea house and kill everyone. A valuable lesson. Uh, I will, I will speak to you when I'm ready to make Mr. Machine Gang. Uh. Now we have everything we need to follow Master Lee's captors to the Imperial City. I am eager to do so after all the resistance we have encountered. Uh, I'm interested how you are doing, Doctor. Is there anything bothering you? Our time in the forest was very troubling to me. To see such distance between the concerns of men and spirits is something I am still getting used to. I have been sensitive to these things for as long as I can remember, but it was not always such a disturbing talent. There used to be harmony. Uh, when did you notice a change? I guess, tell me about that. How sensitive are you? Be serious. This worries me. The world seems to be filling up with wayward spirits. That it affected the forest shadow is very disturbing. It makes me wonder how deep the trouble goes, and what mortals like us are supposed to do about it. What do you think? Master Lee thought you were tied to this somehow. Can you comfort me? Um... Uh, comfort yourself. <laughs> okay, uh... You know you can ask me for anything as long as I have your company. Your appreciation is just what I was looking for, and I am grateful. I know we will do what we can, even if the world moves in ways we cannot fathom. I am glad we can talk like this. It soothes my mind. I hope we can continue another time. Okay, uh, goodbye for now. Be well, my friend. 
So we're going to talk to everybody uh, probably in the next episode. For right now, I want to go to play my reward and talk about a couple of things with regards to Jade Empire. So let's start with the obvious, right? Uh, I was talking about how if you had done certain things in certain in a certain order, you probably would get a different um you would get different outcomes. For instance, I believe if you had rescued Kang the Mad and got the Dragonfly before you landed in Tien's Landing, you would get a scene, well, before you uh, filled the river, you would get a scene where the river was dry and there was no water for the town. Um, let's go ahead and swap on out to... Uh, let's swap out to Dawnstar again. To fight at your side. Um, but... Uh, but, but likewise, I, like, I believe if you had the amulet when you spoke to Chai Ka, I believe he would have fought you with the understanding that you were the assassin who took, who took the, uh, who took the amulet. Um, like I said, I've never actually done, done it in that order before. I, when I first did the game, I actually went straight to the dam to try and get the amulet so I could have more gems to use. But that's not how the game pans out. Um... Go ahead and sell a couple of things off here. Uh, I want to sell a couple of things. Let's sell this tour. So we're going to sell... We're going to sell the Superior Monk Gem because honestly we don't need it. Well, once again, you want to try to spend your money on... Well, spend money. You want to try to use gems that have special effects as opposed to gems that just boost your basic stats. They're not... The basic stat boosts really are not that helpful. Um, unless you're just... Unless you're, one of those, unless you're one of those individuals who are using, um, who are either going, or you're taking a beating like crazy, or using your magic like crazy, or using your focus like crazy, you're not going to need these uh, status enhancing uh, materials. So I'm going to sell this, and you try to buy it back, it goes for seven five seventy five hundred uh, hundred silver. dollars. Uh, we don't need an intuition, do we have two of these? Um, don't need this. Don't need this. We don't need this because I don't use it. In, uh, we don't use uh, intimidation. Um, we'll keep this and we'll keep the rest of these because these are unique ones. Okay, so we have a good amount of silver. I could afford the leaping tiger right now, but I want to hold off on that for a moment. Um, okay, that's someone else entirely. That's that's the, that's one of the missions we can't do because I follow the way of the open, uh, lay of the closed fist, not the open palm. Now, uh, and, yeah, but yeah, if you had done things in a certain order, you can. It, like if you have, if you have played the game beforehand, you could feasibly do. Uh, the pirate fortress first. Get Sky as your ally, and then go and then get the amulet. But you would miss out on a lot more um, details if you ask me. Um, the forest shadow, like, like I said, I think that's more an innocuous thing. You don't have to worry about that too much. You would just miss out on the. You would just miss out on the knowledge that the um, that the what's you call it that the low assassins were behind it. Oh, hello, you two. How are you doing? Your head's going through this train. It is good to see you again. We have told Minister Shang of your bravery and freeing us from the pirates, but no words can do justice to your great and generous deeds. I never thought I'd be glad to be back here, but I am. Yes, yes, Minister Shang is properly grateful that you were able to free the peasants. You truly are a great hero, and so on and so forth. More importantly, you destroyed the pirates who plagued Minister Sheng's administration of this town. Here is your reward. Thank you once again. May fortune smile upon you for your good deeds. Inferior Scholar Gem, and if I believe, uh, I remember so correct, that's the last time we see these two characters. Um, I don't think you bump into them ever again. I believe it's hinted You're that crazy. day. Uh, get on with your day, youngster. We're just passing time. Uh, okay, I thought you talked to him now. Um, actually, let's talk. Let's see about the other guy who doesn't speak. Um. Uh, can't you see I'm trying to have an important conversation with my friend here? The young ones today, no respect. You leave this youngster alone, you cantankerous old goat. He looks like he could put you down without a thought. Might do us all a favor. Okay, never mind then. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's a couple of things you can do. And and, and uh, going back to what I think I was talking about Byron and your ability to kind of skip characters. In a lot of Bioware games, you have the ability to just outright skip certain characters of your party. Um, not so Republic, you could skip the character of Jahani. You could skip her as a party member by killing her outright. Um, you can... I believe there's one other character in Natural Republic you can skip as well. Um, you in, uh, in Bioware, in, Bioware's Ma in Mass Effect, I don't want to say Bioware, in Mass Effect 1, you could skip out on Liara to Sony. She's one of the most important characters inside the into the narrative of um, of uh, Mass Effect. But you can go through the first game and never get her. At all. You, I, I believe you can just outright beat the game and not get her. Um, if I'm wrong about that, feel correct me down in the comments. Um, and that's about it, actually, that, that I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, well, there are a couple of other ones as well. I'm see about the tea house. Does, um, does, I want to see if, uh, Hui has anything to say. Um, but yeah, going off, going more on that, um, um, I want to kind of bring up something about Jade Empire, at least with regards to its cover art. Um, if you look up cover art, I look at the box of a Jade Empire, you will see uh, the characters of Wu the Lotus Blossom, Lotus Blossom and, Fur and Furious Ming on the cover. You, you won't see any of the other characters, I believe. Um, and that's, that's even for the limited edition, too. I've often wondered about that. Back again. Have you been to the ruins yet? Time. Uh, I've recovered the amulet for peace with Lotus Assassin. It wasn't in the ruins, they took it to Gauss Lair. Whatever the outcome may be, my part in these events is over. Now that you have been to the ruins, I may finally take my leave of this town. Where are you going? I have served Sun Li for many years, but there comes a time when all service must end. My final task was to direct you to the ruins. Now, I am no longer bound. And so I step away. I have no further part to play, and I am glad for it. Perhaps history will clear my doubts and show my time was worthwhile. I wish you luck. And that's it. Now Hui's gone. So yeah, um, it's just yeah, it's just some finishing up some business, and that's pretty much all it is. We never, I don't believe you ever see we see Hui again. Um, but yeah, it's not, speaking of Wu Lotus Blossom, but yeah, you you have Furious Me Wu Lotus Blossom on the cover of the game, and I always and when I first picked up the game, I picked it up because I saw Wu on the front of the on the front of the page. Apparently, from the uh, box art, yes, you know, a uh, young, young, a young man attracted to a attracted to a stylish looking female on, on box art. Sue me, I was, a, I actually got a pretty good game out of the experience. Um, but I did not realize that this was going to be a choose your character kind of thing. I thought, I actually thought each of the characters that we saw on the loading screens and on the cover part, cover art were going to be the characters that we got in our party. No, turns out half of the characters depicted on the loading screens are just character presets you can select from the character customization. Which was interesting when I saw that. Now I'm like, oh, so I guess I don't get these characters. I believe you can use mods on the PC version to fix that, but... Uh, we'll fix that up to, uh, to edit that, but, you know, it is what it is. At any rate, I think we're going to call it a part here for today. Um. In the past, I've shared the company of others that moved outside traditional paths. But this band of folks is by far the most exotic. You looked at me as you said that. What are you trying to say, Sky? Actually, you took it the wrong way around. You seem a bit more conventional than, say, Wildflower or Zoo. The Guardian says that everyone hides a part of themselves, that they don't always look like what they really are. So we can assume Sky is hiding that part that doesn't ram its foot into its mouth. <laughs> uh, so we can assume Sky is hiding the part that this hiding the part that doesn't ram its foot into its mouth. I certainly hope that part's in there somewhere. Look, I didn't mean to say... Anyway, I meant no offense to anyone. And I'll just leave it at that. So yeah, um... 
we're going to leave it here for today because there's a lot of stuff to talk to about the characters and we're going to get into that in the next part uh for now i've been announcing you've been awesome and next time we're going to have a little bit of a powwow with our with our group and maybe move further into or, or maybe or well depending if time willing make our way to the imperial city deuces